Hello and welcome to my Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar series where I have an admission to make. I'm an idiot. I've been sitting here playing for half an hour and realized I had not pressed the record button on the video. So I've got all this audio that I've been recording and I don't have video to go along with it, which is annoying. All right, so let me get everybody healed up and then I can explain what's going on here. <sighs> Whatever, I'm just gonna cure everybody. Usually I'll kind of do this in order of hit points. Me. All right. So we're oh okay. We're down here in Pirates Cove. Um, and I did this thing where I peeked my head in, and there's like I don't know eight or nine ships that, that reside in here, and I killed one or two while I was kind of sitting inside this passageway. And I'm not going to go into it because I don't want them to respond again. But I went zooming across the map, and they were chasing me, and I had to fire, fight some Nixies, and I and I fought off all of them and killed them. And then we came here again, and everything had to respond. And I managed to fight my way across, killing to, to this area. Now, if we pop over to the notes, you will see that I, I, I appeared a gem. And so you can see where the water turns into green. That's where I am. And the blue is lava. And so we got lava, 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 lava. We got a big patch of lava here. I've walked all around this. And I cannot find the the entrance to the abyss to the abyss anywhere. This bit up here, this is the shrine. There was one of the shrines. I forget which one. But you remember that we had to come across here and we could only do so many. If you remember way, 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 way back, you could only do so many. I had to blow the horn and we had so many steps and then I had to blow the horn. That's what this is. I recognize this because there's like a there's like a up here someplace. There's, a, a, you know, a, up in this area, there's, there's a, a, a place where we could come in and we had to walk through here. And then this was the place. I, I was wondering what that is, but I remember what that is. It has to be here. It has to be here. Um, otherwise, there's no purpose to this. And, and I remember seeing something someplace that the avatar is here. Now, unfortunately... I was saving at certain points in this, and that's why I just brought you in at this point as opposed to saying, well, that was a waste of time, and then you know, basically redoing what the hell I just did. But because I, I'd already saved at least once, um, and probably should save again, really, uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. So I probably shouldn't have wasted my, oh my, how are we doing on, on cure spells? So I need to make more. Um, I showed this... Well, I showed this, but you didn't see it. But I did buy a bunch of stuff. Um, you can see I've got oil. Um, bought a bunch of reagents and made a bunch of spells. I'm down to 19 cure spells. That's probably something I should make some more of since I'm going through a crap ton. And I think I'm going to walk back through this again. And that's going to get everybody poisoned. So cure spells are garlic and ginseng. Of course they are. So let's mix reagents for cure spells. Garlic and ginseng is C and B. Oh, bloody hell. So I want to first spell cure, C, B. And I'm going to do about 10. Oh. Oh, my God. I cannot type. I get, But I guess because X and N, I don't know. The end, it worked. But did I, I think N is nightshade. Did I, I probably used up nightshade? I don't know. Cure. Oh, no, there isn't an N. That's why it's ignoring it. And it's like, yeah, that works. And same with the X. Cure, CB. So I'm up to 25 cures. I'll get up to 30.
All right, so we'll exit this. Whoops. We'll exit the ship, and I'll I'll take you on a tour. All right, so poison everywhere. You know, get in here. I searched in case it was hidden. Search in case it was hidden. We come up here and we got lava, but there's no entrance um, that I can see. I walked into the lava. I was curious about these bits that are up in the up in the upper right and and upper left corners that look different from the rest of us. I think it's meant to be a depiction of the lava source, but I, I waited in there and and did some searching and I didn't find anything. Oh, there we go. We're in the we're in the lava. And of course, we have to have, we have to have um, rocky terrain here. I just want to look, check this out again, because this is just so, yeah, okay, I did. I mean, that would be like the perfect place to hide it. I don't even know if that's possible, in all honesty, to hide an entrance underneath lava. It's not something we've ever seen before. But you know, what do I know? I know nothing. Um, and we'll just go down south here, maybe. The first time I was down here, I kid you not, there's one time I, I pressed the down arrow button about seven times and got slow progress each time. I wasn't moving. I just wasn't moving. I do need to keep a weather eye on people's health. See, I you know, I waded into the middle of this lava there, where it looks different, thinking that maybe there's nothing here. You know, so I'm not. I'm not seeing anything anywhere that looks like an entrance to, to the abyss. Will you let me out of here, please? Dear God. Of course, when I accidentally hit the West button, then you will quite happily take me on the lava. Yeah, I, I don't... I don't see anything here that is the entrance. All right, let's hope and camp. John is getting really low on health. No effect. Oh. Julia is really bad too. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Let's go to the notes for a little bit here. And let's look at our abyss checklist. So bell book candle. I, 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 I took a second here and I looked it up to see, but I didn't, wasn't sure of the order. This is important. This is the entrance. 
this is the entrance. But what we have to do is we have to use the bell and the book and the candle to get in there, I think. So we're going to try that. Um, all right. I'm going to heal Julia. All right. Hold on, everybody. <laughs> Get on there. Oh, bloody hell. All right, use. So first we have to use the bell. The bell rings on and on. Okay, that's interesting. And then we do use, and next is the book. The words resonate with the ringing. And then we use, whoops, the candle. As you light the candle, the earth trembles. All right, do we enter now? Enter the great Stygian abyss. Holy hell. Whoops. It's not just L, you have to catch the spell, Warren. Here we go. All right, we are in the abyss. Holy hell. <laughs> All right, we've got things to do. Uh, we got to get people healed up. That's vitally important. Uh, so let's start on that. So, Jana. Oh, my God. All right. Nobody should die before I get them healed up. But I'm going to start with Dupree. This one, Cure. And then Jana. That's one cure. Katrina. All right. Shamino. All right. I think it's just me, yes. All right. Has enough time passed, we can hole up and camp. The last time I tried it upstairs, it didn't work. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna follow our usual um, dungeon move because at this point it's a dungeon. Okay, so we've got combat rooms and a fountain. Let's move forward a little bit and then peer to gem again. Because we have a door here. So let's peer. Interesting. We have we have an onk there. I wonder if it's really an onk. I mean, it's not a stone. You know, you know so, so, so just as a reminder, what we're trying to do is we are trying to... We have to conquer the abyss and then view the Codex of Ultimate Wisdom. So I don't know if... Is that the Codex of Ultimate Wisdom? I'm not sure. But what I'm noticing is, once again, no effect on holding up and camping. I just notice that. I just notice everybody's health. Now, it is possible that there's more beyond the fountains there. We haven't seen the end yet. So probably we got combat room, combat room, combat room, probably. And then we're going to come out into this little hallway, into this little um, Tetra-shaped hallway there. And we are going to... I, I will peer to Jim then and see if this continues on or not. It's hard to tell at this point. So I spent a little time before we move on, and I want to just kind of make sure how we're doing um, with things. We've been able to hold up in camp. Uh, I've done a couple of healing spells, and as you will see, nobody's at full health except for Jana. And um, I think we're just going to have to to deal with it at this point. Usually we don't lose so much health that 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 uh, everybody's probably about two thirds uh, health there. So I want to look at um, I want to look at uh, my spells that are mixed and see if I need to be concerned about anything. We still have twenty two cure spells. We used a fair amount because uh, I think I healed the whole party twice. 
but we have 22, so that gives us, we have, what, eight of us, so that gives us two full sets of of, of curing plus uh, a few extra, so I think we're okay with that. Healing, we've got 34. Not really much else I've used since I did all of this before. We got 38.99 gold. We're still great on food, so I think we're ready to move on. As a reminder, let's pop over to the notes and let's take a peek at the map. I know we just looked at this a minute ago, but we've got probably four combat rooms before we get to this next little passageway here. And I don't know how long that's going to take us. Um, I'm, well, we, we're, uh, you know, if all these are combat rooms, then we're definitely going to have to get all the way through before I can get to a spot where I can stop the game again. But we'll see how long it takes us and what the abyss has in store for us. But let's, uh, with no further ado, let's pass through the door. We have fire lizards and fire. <laughs> okay, we can handle this. Uh, we do need to go exit to the uh, uh, west or east here, so that works. Um, now our our uh, melee peeps are not. Unless these guys come out like that one is, I was gonna say our melee peeps aren't gonna be doing much. Oh dear, they are spreading lava. I forgot they did that. Uh, so we may be taking some some damage. Um, if they can get a lot of this spread, but we're already down one. We're already down two. <laughs> so that's good. Um, all right. And the rest of it's just going to be kind of getting people in here. All right. We got to bring people down. There we go. Wow. These guys are not tough at all. Which is okay by me. I'm not. I'm not complaining. Uh, let's see. I should have moved Julia over so she could fire because right now we've only got Iolo. There, you get over Julia. Shamino, you can't do anything. You can come down, and I guess the rest of us. They hit somebody. I think. All right. Oh, that's Joffrey. You can't do anything, Joffrey, so you might as well. Oh, look, the lava's spreading. We're taking heat damage. Okay, so this is going to be fun. Um, yeah, the lava's spreading, so we're just going to have to go through as fast as we can. Um, I mean, we were in lava a little bit outside, and it wasn't... It wasn't, um, you know, too horrible. It wasn't. We weren't taking like a super ton of damage, but you know, everybody's a little hurt, and this is just adding to that tally. All right, I'm gonna move up, which is probably gonna make me at risk for. Lava damage, but I'm gonna let everybody get ahead of me. I didn't know lava, I, I don't know that we've ever seen, you know, free flowing lava that moves around without a lava lizard or something like that to place it. So this is kind of new. I'm kind of curious if we. If we stayed here long enough, would this room fill up with lava? I don't know. We're not going to stick around to find out. Hey, more lava lizards and more lava, but we have a way across. Uh, so I guess I'll start. Um, I might as well get the, the melee peeps working on that because, well, Katrina could go down and, and, and take on that one guy. So maybe I will have her do that. But Joffrey can't do anything. And you can take care of that one, maybe, Iolo. Oh, nice job. Anybody else? I'll just get lined up for the trek. Of course, the lava lizards have no trouble just walking across the lava. 
Not too surprising, given the name. All right, come on, guys. All right. There you go, Katrina. That's how you do that. Good job. All right, you guys gotta wait. All right, I'm gonna pause a minute and take this guy out. You can come over, you can come over. You can come up, wait, wait. All right. You can't do anything. You are in a world of hurt. Oh, okay. <laughs> Because <laughs> I had all these guys lined up that could just sit there and pound at them. But that's not the case anymore. Okay, we're done. Everybody's everybody's dead. Again, we need to exit to the west. Or to the east, my other west. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll we'll get that going. Okay, and we've got, uh, these are hydrates, I believe. So we've got three, four of these guys to kill. And we do want to exit to the south. So, so far, this is going fairly smoothly. I wasn't, whoop, except for the lava. I wasn't exactly sure what to expect. Um, out of the abyss. I mean, I kind of expected it to be... You know, uh, more of a trial probably. Thus far, that doesn't seem to be the case, really. I mean, it's, I don't know that this is, other than, you know, the lava being everywhere. I don't know, I would say this is worse than any of the dungeons we've been through. But who am I to say? All right. I'm going to move over. You can attack there. You can get up there, Katrina. Oh, okay. Alright. You can come over, you can fight. There we go. Heavily wounded. Haven't been looking at the status of our hits. Just been focusing on the battle. Alright, two gone. Or three gone, really. Uh, you can stay put. You can come down. I think our... Melee peeps are done. And I think I'll work on getting everybody else out of here. And me and Julia should be able to handle this guy, I would say. Right. That's working. All right, good. Okay, so this is going to get us out of this set of four rooms, I think. These four um, combat rooms. We do need to exit to the south. So I, I do like the fact that thus far, they're not being super tricksy. <laughs> when it comes to... Um, I'm talking too much and not fighting. When it comes to, uh, you know, dealing with... Well, with what we're dealing with, I was envisioning like, you know, vast armies of demons. And, you know, we're not done yet. It could happen. All right. But we do have a nice lava plane here that we have got to cross. And there isn't really... Um, I don't know that there's a way around that. Oh, I can't look at that. I was curious if... I don't think I made any ice balls. I don't know if something like an ice ball... Um, we don't have any water-based... Um, spells that I remember. You know, that could be used to... You know, quench the heat. Alright, Joffrey. Alright, good. 
Oh my gosh. Dupree has got nothing. I just looked at Katrina's health. All right, Dupree, you can do nothing. Iolo. I guess you move. Julia. Ah. Julia's got a little bit of magic to her. So let's see. So cast healing. Heal who? Katrina. Oh, thank God. Okay, that helps. That helps loads. All right. All right. Oh, uh, we get out of here. We're going to be in a hallway. There we go. And then we can pull up and camp. And there'll probably be some more heals needed. But let's see if we can get our butts through this lava and the hell out of here. Because, yeah, the abyss is not terribly welcoming. Not that I expected it to be. You know, but, you know, if this was a Verbo. <laughs> Uh, zero out of ten would not recommend, you know. But, you know, once again, it isn't treating us too wrong. And thankfully, I noticed Katrina's health before she died. I mean, I do have some resurrection spells for just such emergencies. But, boy, I would rather not use them if I can. Um, but, you know, that's why they're in our quiver, metaphorically speaking. All right, you can't do anything. Let's get people out of here. Some place we can rest up. We got some weird people really low on health. So we really need to spend a little R&R &R time. <laughs> getting some of that up. All right, here we are. All right, so I'm going to go near the other door. This is basically how it looked on the map. Uh, but we're going to, first of all, we're going to hole up and camp. And try to get some health back. Yeah, down to 70 whatever health. That's as close as I really want to get on any of these people. No effect. Plenty of time has passed. I think, I know it's really number of turns, it's not time, but we've done a lot of turns, but okay. Um, uh, heal, let's see, I'm gonna heal Joffrey. I'm gonna heal Katrina. I'm going to heal Dupree. I'm going to heal Iolo. I don't think anybody is going to get um, full health from these heals. They just don't give us that much health. They give us a hundred and something health. Um, heal Shamino. But we're getting people up. And we'll do Jana. I mean, Jana, maybe. No, she's going to be 300. Looks like we're getting 99 points, I think. Because she was 202, and now she's 301. All right, let's see if we can hold up in camp now and get any any effect from it. Now, hopefully, she get people a lot closer. Otherwise, I'm probably going to have to do multiple rounds of healing. Okay, so we got some. People are better but I might do some more healing and then um, before we go through that door. But let's peer at a gem because I wanted to see how much further this goes. So we're going to peer at a gem and it doesn't go any further. What we see is the entirety of it. Now, we don't know what the Ankh means. I find it hard to believe that that's going to be the Codex. But maybe we might be that lucky, perhaps. Um... I don't know. That seems awfully easy. So I don't know, you know, but we do have fountains there, which should be nice, assuming they're not the type of fountains that 
hurt us versus versus help us. That would be really cruel. We'll probably try them anyway because that would be an easy way to get everybody up to full health after we get through the next four combat rooms. All right, but we are going to let that be that. We will be right back here when we start next time, and we will um, continue on through the next four combat rooms and see what the Ankh has to hold for us and uh, move on to the next bit of this grand adventure. But thank you for watching this. Uh, we're getting close to the end. I hope you're excited. I am. And uh, hopefully we will uh, have a good time getting there together. Uh, but anyway, please come back for the next one. And until then, be seeing you.